We're starting. And we're live. Okay. We're live. <laughs> okay. It's all on now. All right. So. Uh, hello, friends and fans and of Taste of Montana. Mm -hmm. And welcome to our home. This Again. is Rad. And this is Gita. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're doing a tasting today, uh, as usual. Yeah. But before we do a tasting, we're going to let people kind of accumulate. Right. Yeah, right. So what happens is uh, Facebook lets our friends and fans know that we're online. Mm -hmm. So uh, by the time Facebook queues up everyone, uh, it takes about like five minutes. Mm -hmm. But we're going to spend that, that for those uh, precious minutes uh, drinking this beer. Yes. So uh, this is the Pinot Noir... Sheep Herder Saison from Sawtooth Brewery in Idaho. Uh, truth be told, uh, I wanted to have this the other day and I put it in the freezer. And I forgot that it was So in the what freezer. happened, I think it was the hottest, was that the hottest day of the summer? So far, yeah. Yeah, so you were, he wanted to cool the, the, the beer as, as fast as possible. He put it in the freezer and it freaking froze. I found it the next day. Yeah. So we'll see what happened to this beer so it, while it was in our freezer. You see all these smiles right now? Yeah. If this thing explodes, I'm not being held accountable. Yeah, so this thing may explode. Like the cap is a little bulged. It's a little uh, spooky. Maybe I should stand away. Uh, you need to cut that. No, that's my protection. I can cut out this here. So we'll go around the wax, get that loosened. Oh. So how did you come across this beer? Uh, I can't did you buy put... it from no, I didn't. our friend Jared by any I chance? Di I didn't. Oh boy. Ah! <laughs> go for it. We switched spots, we so switched we switched spot. glasses. So. Oh, do you remember where you bought it from? Uh, yeah, this is from Warden's Market. Oh, okay. And I thought maybe you bought it uh, while we were in Idaho. No, no, it was a happy coincidence. Okay. Did you say this is an IPA? No, it's a saison. Saison. It is a. Perfect it's from for their. The summer. It's from their Woodside series, so it's a. The sheep herder saison aged in Pinot Noir barrels. Very nice. So I like anything barrel aged. Just yeah. anything. I think I prefer. You can smell the wine. You can definitely smell the wine on this. Ooh. Nice. Very tasty. Very good. Very, very so, good. Sawtooth Brewery. Out of Haley. Which is. We well, did drive through Haley. Remember? Did we? Remember? I don't remember. I don't. We <laughs> did drive. It's did right drive before Kisham. No. Oh, was it? it was Ketchum. That, was it that little town? Ketchum. It's Haley was right before Ketchum, Idaho. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. We went to the Sawtooth Brewery tap room. That's when was we had the elk, the elk sliders. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, the itty bitty sliders. The, the itty itty <laughs> microscopic Very, sliders. Very yes. So we got this big. But they were But they weren't an itty itty price. No, 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 no. So the fancier the place, the smaller the portion sizes. It is. So here's a here's a little, um, if I may, give anyone a tip if you want. If you're really hungry and you want a huge meal, you got to go where the working class, the blue color, uh, hangs out. Yep. That's that's where you can fill up. Anyhow, the, each, uh, we weren't too yeah. impressed with the portions over there. So I want to work on is we're not seeing the comments. It's a, because oh, there we don't have any. There they are. <laughs> no, we have. <laughs> uh, hi, Anthony. Hello. Salut. Chin Chin. That's right, we went to their brewery. 
how soon we forget. It was those little tiny uh, sliders that made me want to forget. The beers were excellent. Yeah. The food was excellent. Just small. Yeah. <laughs> but then we went to a second brewery right from there. What was the name of that one? Uh, they had the goat on their logo. And they had a goat on the door. Yeah. The goat. It was a really cool place. Um, but what was so delicious over there? They had this things called uh, sw Twizzle Pig. Swizzle. Yeah. And so it was bacon and pastry. Wrapped, twizzled together. Yes. And then baked. Um, oh. So it was good, but we asked for honey because we thought that we'd just take it up a notch, which it did. Yeah. But we swore that we were going to go home and make that damn thing. We haven't yet. No, we haven't. We haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's going to end up making that. You. That's right. Uh, so, uh, should, you know what? We got some folks in. Should we do the star of the show? I think uh, we should uh, we should go for it. So yeah. just to jog our friend's memory, last time we were doing a Facebook Live and we were doing a tasting with different sauces on top of french fries. Mm -hmm. So what did we have? We had, uh, we had ketchup, we had uh, salt, we had, uh, we had Idaho, was that Idaho? Idaho fry, fry sauce, um, uh, remoulade, remoulade tell and me. ice cream, ice cream, and chocolate ice cream. And? I can't remember. Anyhow, so uh, it was a vinegar-based sauce, malt okay. vinegar, malt vinegar. So anyhow, it was a ton of fun, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we had a lovely lady that was watching us as we were doing that tasting, and she decided that we needed to have uh, mustard uh, on uh, on the, in our tasting. So she was kind enough to send us her homemade mustard yeah. all the way from Dell, Montana. Yep. The so, big city of Dell. Yes. So this lovely lady's name lady's name is Vila. I think it's Vila and not Vila Vila. Yeah, I think it's Vila. And um, are you on your phone? Nope. I was You better not be. I, I was I was I was making sure there was no noise. <laughs> okay. I didn't want there to be an oops a daisy. Alright. So this lovely lady uh, her her business is called the V's Mustard. Mm-hmm. And she's on Facebook, and uh, we can't wait to give this a try. All right, so. Got to wait. I got a weapon. Hi, Raquel. I got a weapon. Uh, so since Raquel's on, uh, I got to tell her that we went to get a gyro um, uh, the day before yesterday Saturday, in yeah. Missoula. And guess who walks in through the door as we were eating our uh, food? Your, Gabe. Your number one son. <laughs> your number one son walked in and boy, he has grown. He's become like a man. Like, you know, he, he sat down and he had a conversation in a very grown up kind of way, you know? It was odd and disconcerting. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it made me think, how long has it been? It has been a long time since we've Honestly, seen Gabe. I don't Gabe. think so. But I think at that age, kids just mature, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, last time we saw Gabe, he was in, what, finishing high school? Now yeah, he's, getting close to finishing high school. He's a grown school. man. All right. Oh, boy. So, let's look at the mustards. So, she sent us three mustards. So, we'll just pull them out one at a time. The first one is V's Sweet Extra Hot Dippin' Mustard. Nice. And they come in, the, oh, it's a plastic bottle too, which is, I actually prefer the glass. I Just can in drop case that. you drop them. Yeah. All right, you want to do the second reveal? Drum rolls, please. Thank you. <laughs> These smoking hot dipping mustard. Oh boy. Um, I like her logo, by the way. Yeah. It's so devilish sex and sexy. Yes. <laughs> Sexy and sultry, and uh, and the third is sweet hot mustard. So she said they we read her stuff, and so she goes from hot to extra hot to smoking hot. Oh, I think we should have had a little bit of uh, milkshake just milkshake in case things are way too hot. In case they're too hot, yeah. So if you read up. On V's uh, backstory, she started off uh, making this, these mustards mm -hmm. in her house and she was gifting them to her friends and family and they encouraged her to start her own business 
and uh, she finally took the plunge and now she has her own line of mustards yeah. which she sells at different stores yep. okay and so to, to taste test these mustards let me fix my screen are you, on, are you on facebook <laughs> Excuse my reach. So uh, to taste these mustards, I grilled up some crostini. So I, I tried to do like a more neutral kind of crostini. And you did the crostini on the Traeger, On right? the Traeger, yep. I'll do everything on the Traeger. It's summertime. Yeah. I don't dare do anything inside the house. Although it was cold enough the other day, I did. I, I cooked inside the house. Oh, you didn't turn on the oven though. No. Okay, let's get after it. All right, so the first one, let's go, um, oh, that's smoking hot. Let's go the other way. We're, let's, uh, I, no, we should start from the least. This is the hottest. Least, oh. This is the second hottest. This okay. is the sweet hot. So the I'm assuming hot. this one is in a nice packaging. If I can find the little, the little zipper thing. Well, you know what? As luck would have it, I got a tool for that. <laughs> can I have more beer? You certainly can. All right. Why don't you have some? I was gonna there? say I can't wait till we start doing beer tastings the way we used to, uh, because we are big time beer people, and I realize we are doing beer tastings. We are. We are. We are. One beer at a time, though. And what I like is you have a little. Little, yes. uh, you know, bottle. That Good would be nice. job, B. Actually, that's really that's really mess free. Yeah, this is important. I have like a bowl. attention to detail. All right, so pick your crostini and. Uh, yes. All right, I'll just do a little bit. So here we go. Tell me when. Just go. Yep. Enough. 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 Yeah, so the crustines are really easy to do on the grill. It only took about 30 minutes. But uh, we should ask people how their Monday is going. <laughs> because it's Monday. I know. <laughs> We're having fun on our Monday, but yeah. I don't know if you guys are having fun. So, should okay, we go yeah. on? Crunch, crunch. Mmm. It's uh, oh, that's nice. It's nice and sweet. It's like sweet Dijon kind of flavor. Yeah. yeah. But I don't detect any heat. Mm -mm. Which is fine. I mean, not everything needs to, you know, put my mouth on fire. Sometimes I just like things nice and sweet. That was excellent. Mm -hmm. That was really, really good. Hit me. All right. So next, we're going to step up to the, the sweet extra. And once again, tool for the job. Yep. All right. Oh, come on, you. Ah. ah. Sometimes you just got to put a little more oomph on it, you know. Oops. The little cap came off. There we go. Oh, I get a sneak preview. That was it. Oh, boy. Ooh. So, I took a peek at V's mustard on Facebook, and looks like she did a little exchange with Blind Hot Sauce. Another person whose uh, product we've sampled. Yeah. But we never had the we fortune actually, of actually interacting. No. Yeah. But we did a live on that one, too. Yeah. All right, so this is the sweet... Extra hot. A bit of heat. Mm -hmm. But just the right amount. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. I mm -hmm. like it. That's really nice. It's very nice. So, let's see what she got for ingredients here. Marinade, cider, by the way, the Ghost pepper. Mm. So she uses a little bit. Ooh, it builds on you a little bit. Mm. So it's kind of hot food, which is good. Mm -hmm. 
Well done. Mm -hmm. Now, this is perfect for you and I, but I think Western palettes don't like heat. Do you think it might be too much for them? No. No? I think the Western palette is developing heat. It's developing? Yeah. I think a lot of people are really becoming they chili They have heads. developing palettes. <laughs> people in the developing. developed world are developing their palette. So this is the smoking hot. That's the hot hot? This is a hot hot. Still, uh, the heat comes from ghost peppers, so. She likes her ghost peppers. Yeah. Spicy girl. I'm gonna have a small piece. Because I wanna be cautious with that ghost pepper. I don't think you took the... <laughs> you know, it's probably subliminal that I didn't want it. Oh. oh. You wanted to delay it? Delayed uh, gratification, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You know me, I'm totally... You know what it. we should do? We should actually pile it high and get a little high from this. So last time, there was one time we did a heat challenge. Arthur Wayne. No. Was it Arthur yeah, Wayne or was it Blind? It was a triple X. It was... It was the Arthur, Arthur Wayne's Wayne. one, yes. And I totally got a um, high from that. You got a capsaicin. I think high. I got it high twice. Hi, Gus. Yes. All right. Gus Manning is what was my uh, late uh, newer Facebook friend. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. All right. Chin chin. Oh. Oh, you want to do a little? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> Mmm. Okay, that's really good. That's hot. But not as, uh, ooh. Yumbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the back of the palette. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, I was going somewhere with that story. Hmm. Uh, uh, speaking of Arthur Wayne, we went to a farmer's market last Saturday. And we met Arthur Wayne in person and in flesh. Yep. Yep. How cool was that? It was very cool. Uh, we've been consuming his product for, for a while and uh, we finally got to meet the man. Hello, Christian. Yeah. Uh, I love craft mustard. When are we going backpacking? Just got home from the Ruby Mountains. <laughs> oh! So uh, our Facebook, our friend, is a hiker just like you and I. But is he going in for a third helping of the uh, smoking hot? You going for a third helping? This is my third. I will have some too. <laughs> because uh, we are competitive. <laughs> we are, huh? <laughs> Give me one oh. of that. Give you know what? When she did the triple X, she did the same thing, and she just about went into a into a uh, hallucinogenic fit. Because you did a heroic amount. Oh, you're already sweating. Me. I know. I get a little sweat going. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So when are we going backpacking? Very pretty soon. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? <clears throat> you know what? In terms of flavor to heat. I have to do a little, uh, I had some chili pepper dab here. Um, chili to heat, I actually like the extra hot sweet. Like the smoking them. hot is my second favorite, but they're all delicious, you know? But if you gave even the sweet hot to grandma, you might blow her out. Yeah, um, I would like that on top of um, like a sweet on, on top of salads that have fruits in them, like a oh, yeah, spinach yeah. pear salad. Mm -hmm. This would be really good on the spinach oh, pear yeah. salad. That would actually be really nice. Um, when it comes to burgers, maybe, mm -hmm. I would love this. And uh, if you want to get high, <laughs> just like we are. Right now. <laughs> Try. This bad boy. Well, I tell you what, uh, I have some little I pork what? Mar I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. Uh, uh, Hank Hill. Yeah, I tell you what. Um, Who watches King of the Hell, guys? We do. <laughs> uh, 
I got some pork loin and uh, I was going to grill up for tonight. And I'm going to put each one on some pork loin. Okay. So we can kind of do a little, even a little more taste test on some meat with this. Okay, so are we going to have a second tasting or are we just going to share the recipe later? We'll just share it. So this is a freaking tease. This is a for tease. For these poor people. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Vi's mu dipping mustards, delicious. Oh, yes. Um, thank you, Vi, for your generosity, sending mm -hmm. us these love, lovely, lovely uh, craft mustard, which is made in Montana. We love that. You guys see it? There. Just want to make sure everyone sees oh, the yes. logo. Made in Montana. There. There's her lovely logo. And we'll be using it in our cooking. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely, but well, we got three bottles of it. We yeah. got to use it up. I think, <laughs> okay, we're going to need a second fridge because this fridge that you see is basically nothing but condiments. It's nothing but hot sauce. <laughs> um, we we're going to, yeah, we don't really have any like fruit, in, the real food in there. So we're going to need another fridge. We need a little mini fridge. I don't know where we're going to put this. Yes. We need a mini fridge just for hot sauces and condiments. Yes. So, um, uh, hello, anyway, Wendy. I think it went really well. Um, I will put up a quick recipe on Facebook tomorrow for the grilled crostini. It's a great way to have crostinis and easy and to do summer. on the grill. Did you use uh, Herbeau de Provence by any chance? No, Italian herbs. Just Italian herbs, salt, olive oil. Cut yeah. your bread on the bias and put it on the grill. Okay. The trick is the temperature of the grill because you don't want to burn the bread. You want to to toast and dry the bread. Right. So that was the trick. Okay. But and you're going to tell people. I will tell people. Okay. Um, the beer, I think, went really well with the mustards. Thank you. Yeah. The beard. The beard. The beard. <laughs> Pinot Noir barrel aged saison. Okay. Here you can have that shit. So is that it for us and I our think. friends? Uh, Gus asks, uh, can I order some of the sauce? And I would say it? soon. Do <laughs> this was excellent, excellent. Yeah. yeah. So we will probably be putting this on very, very soon. Yeah. Maybe this week. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. If things go well, which I think yeah. is gonna go well, I mean, we'll definitely get yeah. this on. This and is a great. This is an exceptional guess. product. This yep. is really good. Especially since you know it's made in Montana and, mm -hmm. and it's a local and it's organic and it's uh, made by uh, someone you probably have seen around. You know what? Coast. Probably have seen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So any. Anything you want to share? Uh, if you have any more samples, send them our way. We yeah. love... No. <laughs> so, uh, actually, we do have another sample, uh, but mm -hmm. it's a dog treat. That'll be... We'll, we'll, we'll do that, <laughs> what do you think, Wednesday? Uh, yeah, so we won't be eating that, but we do have a very old schnauzer, and uh, she's, is she a little picky? She has discriminating taste. Oh. Oh, all right. Yes. So we'll have her uh, taste the dog treat, mm -hmm. and we'll let you guys know how it goes. But yes, if uh, if you have more samples, we'll be more than happy to do a little taste tasting on them. All right. I all right. Think that does it. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for uh, giving us a few minutes of your time on uh, Monday. Yeah. I hope everyone has a great week. Yes. 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 Enjoy the summer, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>